All right. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. <clears throat> and in this video, Ryan Garcia responds to the accusations of him being on that juicy juice. Uh, and they are, let me say, very, very, very funny in a very sad situation. However, I will not hold my breath waiting on that man to get punished for it. And it seems to me that the most likely outcome of this whole shabacle should be a rematch with Devin Haney. But before I, but let's talk about that. Sorry, man, I got my speech messed up. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, I am cracking up, man, because let me tell you, rarely in life do I get to see two snotty-ass dudes both get hit up in very, very ugly ways and get to giggle a little bit at it, because you know, I like Devin Haney, I like Ryan Garcia, but I told you, God don't like ugly. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Does not like ugly Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney gets beat up by Ryan Garcia. Winds up, and I'm sad for Devin. I like Devin. I wanted Devin to win the fight. Ryan Garcia, after beating Devin Haney, doesn't play any type of any type of humble whatsoever, and he claims he gets set up <laughs> with a dirty performance enhancer test. And please remember that they, when they look at these tests, these people are now looking because boxing is, I think they've subtly changed the rule. They are talking about intentional ingestion now, not whether or not you did it at all, whether it was in your system, but whether you did it intentionally. And I do think that there's a good reason for that. I think that there's a good reason for that. I don't like it. I don't like any of it. I wish that people like I was for much harsher penalties for it. However, Ryan Garcia says something that brought this to mind. And also another conversation that took place between Clarissa Shields and Alyssa Bumgarner brought this to the forefront of my mind. Before I get into it, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the bell icon so you can be notified that we release more videos. And thank you to everybody that supports the channel, whether you hit the like button, but specifically people in the super thanks, people that come by the live streams, support there. That's how we're able to keep the lights on. But I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna have an easier time keeping the lights on when entertaining things like this take place. Because I'm telling you, man, I feel like I'm just in a perfect place with this because it's just funny all the way around to me. Ryan Garcia says, wants to know who paid to have his, pop, his test pop dirty. Who paid for that? Who did that? He's saying that he did not ever use a performance enhancer and that this is all a bunch of nonsense. And he's saying it with a straight face. He's saying it often all through Twitter. He's acting and behaving as a man that has been wronged. Now, if you know anything about the history or the re and I'm talking about the recent history of PE of performance enhancers and people getting caught in boxing you will see that a bunch of them did not get punished. And why didn't they get punished? Why didn't, why didn't um, <clears throat> um, Dillian White get punished? Why didn't Alyssa Bumgarner get punished? Let's just use those, let's just use those two. Uh, Tyson Fury didn't get punished, but he kind of went about it in a different way. By, but he s still claimed the same thing, um, that this was accidental. Uh, and I think that these rules got changed and uh, had a lot to do with when Canelo popped for clombuterol. And uh, Canelo said that he uh, got it from eating tainted, tainted uh, uh, taco meat in Mexico. So the World Anti-Doping Agency 
had a higher standard than VADA did. And they so VADA or the WBC had VADA raise their levels of acceptable levels of computerol to account for that. Now, you also so that's the that's the theme that goes through this. And that is what Ryan Garcia is inevitably going to claim that it was not intentional, that there was supplements. There were supplements that he had taken. And in the supplements, it didn't say it on a label, but that is what it contained. So he did not do it. Um, he did not do it intentionally. Alyssa Baumgartner. And I'm telling you, I'm not the I'm not the sign. I'm not. um I'm not the science guy, so I'm not about to sit here and repeat all the names of all of the particular um, performance enhancements that these people got caught on. I know, like, but I do know, for example, that uh, Nandrolone was uh, what Tyson Fury uh, tested for. But Alyssa Bumgardner, people swept her under the rug and said, hey, man, she's going to she's going to lose her belts, get suspended because she popped for something after her after the fight that she uh, had with um, the Greek, that Greek uh, female fighter in her hometown of Detroit. What hap- what winds up happening? What winds up happening is that uh, they cannot prove that she did it intentionally. They showed also that um that she I guess she got her hair samples done and because her hair was so long they could test like the end of it and and te- and portion of her hair that wasn't um the portion of her hair that was around growing around the time that she popped didn't have anything in it so you know just all kind of stuff to go around to to say that look man if you cannot prove that they actually did it and they intended to do it they're letting these people go now. And I think that there's a reasons why these people, why they're letting it go. Uh, and I don't like it. Um, however, it is what it is. If somebody gets off, they get off, you know, and it's going to be what it's going to be. They're going to go right back to business. It's very, very unfortunate also. But let me tell you one of the reasons why I think that this is starting to, that that's starting to be the case because that the collection system is flawed. The the actual collection of these performance enhancements are are flawed and they are substant and they are subject to have somebody tamper with them. And the reason that and the reason the thing that brought that to mind for me is the fact that there are boxers that believe that other boxers things have been tampered with. You had um, Jessica McCaskill. As soon as she heard about what happened with. um, Uh. Alyssa Bumgardner, she w- immediately went to hold on, man. She her contract is up with Matchroom, and then all of a sudden she pops. I don't believe it. I th- I think that there's been foul play with that. Um, you have Javon now. You have Javante Davis saying the same thing, like, hey, there. Uh, Devin Haney loses, and all of a sudden this guy pops pops as if he didn't know how to cheat before, <laughs> right? And he doesn't believe it. So, I mean, it's just a messed up situation all the way around. And at the end of the day, all these guys, all of these people associated with it are going to wind up having taken an L. Uh, Ryan's reputation is going to take an L. That's not going to recover every time he you talk about Ryan. They're going to talk about Ryan, about juicing, even if he gets off from the WBC and the and the New York State Athletic Commission. Right. And and by the way, he's got enough money to hire a, a fleet of lawyers to defend him from that. So good luck having a state agency stick him uh, in that particular in that type of unequal uh, playing field that they have. Uh, good luck with that. And then, of course, you got Devin who cannot unwhoop his it cannot unwhoop his ass. You know what I mean? That whooping that he took is not going to disappear. It's not going to disappear in the minds the in his from his body. It's not going to disappear from the minds of people that saw it. So it's just all around very much a lose lose situation for everybody involved. But again, do not. I'm telling you, do not be surprised at all if Ryan Garcia does not get punished for this. Don't be surprised. And it is and it can be a, a it can be an assortment of reasons. The fact that Ryan Garcia has got 30 million, who's got uh, millions and millions and millions of dollars to hire lawyers to fight it and to threaten to sue the WBC and to threaten to sue the Nevada State, the New York State Athletic Commission. Also, you really do have situations where people where they well, excuse me, where they have shifted the 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 standard by which you 
um, punish somebody from it being in your body at all, which is a no zero tolerance to you having to intentionally have ingested it. And, you know, again, I was I had always been a favor of a just a strict, you know, you did it per se guilty. It's in there. You're suspended. I cannot, though, not acknowledge the fact that people can tamper with people's stuff. You can plant evidence and police plant evidence um, in in criminal trials. You got that much money on the line and you're out to get somebody. You're trying to get your guy back. It's possible. I'm not saying it's probable. I'm not saying it happened, but it's possible. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.